Welcome back everyone to more of our gameplay series of X4 Foundations. We're here in Getsu Fune about to head through the jump gate. And that jump gate is going to take us into uncharted territory. We have no idea what we're going to find in there. Now the last time we went into Xenon territory, we not only found a lot of Xenon in there, but we also figured out that it was a very dangerous area or a poisonous area, however you want to look at that, for our ships. So we couldn't really stay and set up a presence. I'm hoping we don't find that when we head through this jump gate in Getsu Fune. But before we do that, a couple of things that I want to let you guys know. For one, the last time we were together, I gave you an update on the economics. And we hadn't been making all that much money. We had made some, but not a ton, mostly because our wharf hadn't really been getting as many orders as we were used to you know, previously in the series. Well, that has all changed. We are now up around 630 million credits. The wharf has been very busy, and along with that, I have been adding a few more ships, trading vessels, to handle some of the demand for that to make sure they get all the supplies that they need. Also very interesting to me, you see the jump gate here, just in front of us, uh, you notice we're not the only ones hanging around over here. We've got Antigone Republic is hanging around over here. Uh, the Cigaris Pioneers have had a few ships. Looks like we've got a few Terran vessels over here. Uh, but yeah, we're not the only ones here. Obviously, these other factions have figured out that they need to patrol this area and keep the Xenon from running in and out of here um, at their own will. But now, we're headed through the jump gate, so what type of force did we bring with us? What type of fleet are we sending through here? Well, I thought we might as well go big. It's going to be fleet number 62, which has three Earl Kings, one of which we're aboard right now, 18 Osakas, and then you see the, the dotted lines there because it can't go, go out to triple digits, but if we mouse over, it's 100 fighters. That should make this a lot of fun. You can see they're sending through a few Xenon every now and then, and it makes for a nice light show for a few moments, but that's generally about it. Now, with a fleet this size in this game, it is, well, sometimes very troublesome to get everybody going in the same direction. We saw that uh, previously when we went, went into Xenon territory because we went through the jump gate, and it seemed like half of our ships went the other direction. Now, eventually, they all make it where they're supposed to go. But when you're jumping through the unknown, you need everybody to go at the same time. So we're going to give it our best shot right here. So I'm going to go ahead and let's make sure we get Fleet 62. And I'm going to, for right now, I'm going to tell them to explore this jump gate. Now, we're pretty quickly going to get rid of that order. But this will get them to go through the jump gate. And where is that taking us? Okay, we're going to Savage Spur 2. That's kind of what I thought. But it also lets us know, here's where we're going to come out, the jump gate, and then it's going to head uh, to the center where it's going to start its rounds. Now, first thing I want to do before I cut the video here, and we'll come back as soon as we make the jump, I want to see if we get everybody going in the same direction. Now, generally, that has not been the case. We'll have several lagging behind. Okay, I see the Osakas are coming in. Okay, good, good. Now we got some of these guys back here. Some of the fighters just start, they're doing their own thing. And we got even got one going the other way. Okay, so I'm not terribly worried about the Earl Kings because they're fast. All right, there we go. You can see we've got the travel drive going. We're jumping through. Maybe I won't have to cut the video. No, wait, no, we're going to play around a little bit. Yeah, we're going to play around. We're going <laughs> to shift things around a little bit. Okay. So I'll cut the video here and we'll come back as soon as we make this jump. All right, welcome folks. Here we are in Savage Spur. Now I haven't looked around yet to see how many of our ships made it through. Uh, but yeah, look at that. We've already got some fighting and I look around and this looks, yeah, this looks very Xenon. <laughs> this just has that look about it. You can see turrets are firing uh, on, which is probably a Zen K. I'm not, certainly not an expert in identifying these, but it's a big ship. I'm just going to call it a Zen K for now. 
There we go. All right, so we're turning the wrong way, which is completely no. normal. Now we do know, we do like to fight from the side. I mean, you know, we face it uh, broadside so that we can get all the turrets firing because for whatever reason they refuse to use. Okay, so let's do this. Let us get rid of this order. And since I cannot, there we go. Let's zoom in here. Okay, can we attack targets in range right here for a moment? There's not really anybody I see around other than that one fighter. So let's just look around for a moment. And let's see what Savage Spur has to offer. Now, what I have not seen... Okay, the awaiting orders lets us know there's no more targets over here. And I don't see any in the immediate area that are coming at us. I do see some things out there, although those could be asteroids. It kind of looked for a moment like it was a station. Okay, I'm not seeing anything, and I'm not getting any... I don't hear anything. No warnings that says you're in a dangerous area. So that's good. That's very good, in fact. I like this a lot. So we're getting a few stragglers. All right, so let's do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this guy, and I am going to tell him, since nobody is in the immediate area, I'm going to tell him to uh, patrol. We could do repeat orders. Uh, that wasn't available, actually. He's just now made it up to a one star. Let's just go ahead and do a patrol momentarily. And of course, we want to do a patrol of, where are you at? Savage Spur 2. Is that right? Let me scroll back out. Yep, Savage Spur 2. And confirm that. All right, so he's going to just sort of head out and see what we find. Now, in the meantime, what I want to do is I want to set up, since we haven't found any big forces yet, no big fleets of Xenon just yet, um, and this should be one of their main entries into what I'll call the, the regular map here in Getsu Fune, because that gets them to the void and then, of course, opens up everything from there. All right, so yeah, all we found so far, we did find the one I, which I'm assuming was a Zen K and a few fighters here and there, but that's about it. So as this guy, the, uh, the ship that we're aboard now, again, let's just take a look around. I see our fighters over here in the distance. They're just checking things out. I see something over here. Not sure if that's background or what. But yeah, this looks, this looks eerie. Very eerie and foreboding. That's, <laughs> that's what this looks like. And I like it. I like it. So let's go ahead and let's set up a plot. So we want a new plot, and I'm just going to go ahead and make it. We're not paying for anything here anyway, so let's just go make it a 5x5x5 five by five by five, all the way around. We won't need this much, but we're going to go ahead and do just that. That is going to be a huge plot, and we're going to put it like right here. And I mean like right here. Okay, we're going to try to get... Yep, there we go. Right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. Obviously, we don't need to pay anybody. Because they're going to be trying to run us out of here as soon as possible. And let's do administrate. Let's do the stage two. Let's just, why not? This thing is way massive overkill, which is one of the reasons why I love it. Let's go ahead and confirm the mod module changes there. And let's see if we can find a builder who's crazy enough to come in here. Where can we find a builder nearby? All right, there we go. There's a few. Looks like they're all going to be right over there. There you are. That works. Let's just grab this one. I'm not going to spend too much time worrying about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and I just want to make sure here real quick. Okay, we got shields. We got turrets. Just want to make sure it saved everything. So confirm all that. Let's go down here to this disk platform. Save, save, save. Yep, we're good to go. Okay, awesome. 
Awesome. So there it is. We are going to have a defensive station. But right now, until this really gets started, we can just play around here. Let's just look around and see what there is in Savage Spur. Now, we do want to protect, for sure, our base location. We don't want it to get attacked, but there doesn't appear to be a lot going on in the area, which is a little surprising. I thought we would have more of a presence. You can see there in the distance, we've got some fighting going on. Have you guys found something? Anybody found? Eh, maybe a few fighters. Oh, who we got over here with us? Let's go ahead and get out of this screen. Who are you? Okay, Antigone. Republic sent some, some guys over here. At least one or two brave guys came through. So my long-term plan here, and again, this is going to extend well beyond our gameplay series, but my long-term plan here would be to get this factory built uh, that we, of course, will turn into a defense station. And that will help out because I've put it like intentionally right in front of the jump gate. So they're going to have to go through this station. And we're going to have a, a fleet. I would actually prefer to have two fleets. One that is just on attack everything in range and just put it like right here to help out the station. And then have another one that is just simply working the entire sector to see what we can find and trying to destroy anything and everything that we find in here. But for sure, I want the station and then a fleet in the immediate area to take care of anything trying to come through. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so now where are you at? Okay, there you are. All right, we want to attack that guy. Attack that guy. Let's do that, please. All right, I need to make sure that we get rid of this patrol right now. All right, let's just do the whole position. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that for right now. All right, so you see the Earl Kings are starting to get to the right direction. The Osaka, same thing. Let's go get this guy. And I say that hoping that that's exactly what we're going to do. Because we have been in positions where destroyers gave us trouble before. And the good news is we don't have any of those ships with us right now. A beast of a ship, the Leviathan, in the hands of a player with all of those guns on the front. I think, what, six of them? I mean, that would be an absolute massive, massive destruction in the hands of a player. But when it's not in the hands of a player, the AI simply don't use the the main guns and it uses a couple of turrets and it's terrible and it's slow that's the worst thing it's incredibly slow so now who is headed this direction oh yes thank you that is what i'm talking about that is what i'm talking about for sure all right so they're still working their way over here i'll tell you what i'm gonna do i need to allocate some money real quick uh let's just go ahead and do we get you about 12 million most of the uh most of what you need was going to be provided by our own ships, so that won't be a problem. But I'll give you some money to try to get this thing up and running as quickly as possible. So here they come, and before they get here, what do we got? What are we looking at? I see fighters, maybe, what, three mediums? Okay, so it's essentially just the destroyer. All right, so now the trash talking has begun. Okay, looking around. Again, you see there's an Osaka there. Or excuse me, an Earl King there. Several Osakas in the way. I love the way this looks, by the way. When the fleet stuff works in this game, it can be amazing. I mean, look at this. This looks like how a fleet is supposed to look. I have them in a semicircle formation. But this is the way it's supposed to look. We're on the main ship, and these guys are all around us. Yes, please. Okay, there you see the K. The destroyer is coming. And I believe that is one of our Osakas that has gotten a little bit out front. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. <laughs> Somebody's coming in over there. And you can see, uh, yeah, the turrets work. It may not use the, the main gun in front. All right, what is happening over there? Since I can't really get a good view of it. Okay, never mind. It's just the fighters are coming in. 
Okay, yes please. I mean, the K is so far behind over there. The fighters have come in and that is a bad idea. And I mean a bad idea. There you can see one of the, I believe that's one of the medium ships coming in. Number one rule of a fleet is you better attack together. You don't send. If you have a fleet of 100 ships, you better send all 100 of them together. The last thing you want is those guys getting off on their own and only sending a few. Those are villain tactics. We don't want that. All right, so everybody's gone now, I believe, except for the K. I mean, this Earl King right here, he looks antsy. That's what he looks. And once again, the turrets work. You can see him firing out. Okay, who's left? Okay, I see maybe a few fighters. All right, let's teleport over here to this Osaka. That could be bad. Like, if this goes badly and we're just set up for utter destruction. All right, let's get down here. All right, Osaka. There we go. Here's the K. This is the front seat I was looking for. Now let's just hope it stays this way. Okay, he's shooting at us. That's not good for us. All right, boom, boom. All right, right now he's hitting... Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to keep... Oh, this is awful. Dude, you need to start doing some maneuvers. I understand you're firing at him, but how quickly is he roasting us? Yeah, pretty quick. Pretty quick. This guy needs to make some evasive man maneuvers here, like, real quick. Yeah, this is cool, though. I mean, you can just see, like, the shield there in the underbelly. Here in a moment, I would imagine, we're going to hear the, you're taking hole damage. Hole damage. There we go. Yeah, I mean, this is, dude, you need to move. Okay, forget that. I need to move. Hole critical. Yeah, he just walked right into that. Hello. And I walked right into it with him, I guess. Eject successful. Ah, don't worry about that. We're teleporting. All right, where is it? I lost the K. Where's it at? Where are we? Oh, we're going by. Oh, that's good. That's good. I mean, the last thing I would want us to do is to actually... There we go. Okay, so now we're firing on it. Because we've decided that, you know what, the best thing we can do is just fly by this thing. And the Osakas are trying to figure things out. They're like, I don't even know what's happening. Uh, obviously, you can see when the Earl Kings get within range because that's where the turret fire is coming from. In fact, it's right over there. That Earl King is firing, and he's firing a lot. Now, the K, does it have a front-mounted weapon? Well, I mean, I'm used to seeing it come from the bottom. It's got a couple of weapons underneath. Right now, it's just getting pelted with turret fire. Yeah, there you go. That must be the other Earl King that is joining in. Where are you guys at? Yeah, I mean, we're just pelting this guy with fire. Yeah, there we go, right by, behind us back there. So the Earl Kings are really the only ones doing any damage. These Osakas have decided they're not interested. All right, nope, don't, don't leave. Stop, stop, let's get up there. I want to see it. All right, so the K at this point is probably just like, he's bailing. He's realized this is no good. Yep, there's the Osaka over right over there. You see that we lost. That's the one we were on that made no evasive maneuvers whatsoever. He was using some of my piloting skills. Oh, come on now. There we go. There we go. I was thinking, this guy's going to leave our sight just in time that we won't get to see that. See, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, now what? All right, I don't see anything once again. Okay, so now I'll go back in here. Now, for anybody who is wondering, I didn't have to cancel that order a while ago. I just, sometimes, I just want to make sure it does certain things at certain times. 
So I go above and beyond to try to safeguard against because once you've played a few hundred hours at least in this game, and I forget how many hundreds of hours I'm past at this point, it's probably like 500 or something. But once you get to that point, you've had enough bad situations with the AI, particularly the fleet AI, that you just sort of, you start to develop ticks. Anytime certain things happen, it's like, oh no, I don't even want to think about this happening again. That's what happened to me the first time we went into Xenon territory and half of the ships went the other direction. I was having flashbacks. Great. All right. So once again, now you guys didn't do anything last time, but it sure is cool to see you right there. That is so cool. Love it. Just wish you would actually participate more. All right. So now that we got rid of that, I was really hoping, honestly, that there was going to be more Zen case coming. I, I, we want more. I was really, really hoping for that, but it doesn't look like we're getting that right now. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, this guy, yep, he's right there. So that's, I didn't really expect him to be here yet. Uh, I expected him to be a lot slower moving. So let's see, looks like we've got a couple of traders here that have already made it. So let's check out the build. All right, let's see. Resources needed. All right, so you can see our energy cells. Look at that. What are the energy cells? Yep, you can see when we come in, we come in with all the energy cells. So, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. Now, what you don't see is turret components. The good news is we're using a lot of Terran turrets on this thing. Maybe all Terran turrets. I can't remember. So that means that the micro lattice and the silicon carbide and where is it at? Is that it? Oh, the substrate. There it is. I thought it's got to be here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no, it's not what I was hoping for. But it is a fight, however small. Again, Osaka, feel free to jump in there. I mean, last time we were aboard an Osaka that was trying. Unfortunately, he was the only one trying. Nobody was really helping him out. I see fire. Now, this is a very dusty, cloudy area, so you can't really see very far around you. Ooh, I see something. Okay, I see a, a station over there, and I see what appears to be a jump gate. All right. I can deal with that. But they don't have a huge presence, at least on, on the end of the sector by the jump gate. All right, what is this? That is awesome. Can I see that? Uh, no. But you can see, I was expecting more of a presence here, but it looks like we might have to wait till they get out here. And also, where was that jump gate? It's right over there, which puts us... What, like out in here somewhere, maybe? That would make sense, since you're going right over there. If that's a jump gate. Oh, tell me that's not a beautiful sight. That's what I'm talking about. Well, folks, we have done what we came to do. It was not as much fighting as I had hoped for, but we're not done here. We're not, for one thing, we're not leaving. We're setting up shop in here now. But look at that. Yes. Got a star in the background. Obviously, a lot of mining can take place in here, giving the Xenon the ability to have their own stations and take care of their own economy. Oh, now we're turning back over here. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to cheat and see what's coming. Oh, just a couple of fighters. All right, no big deal there. And while I'm thinking about it, now the 100 fighters that you see, I simply queued up 100 fighters, but because there is such a shortage right now, that never gets old. Love watching the turrets fire. Uh, but when I queued them up, because there is such a shortage of turret components, um, I gave them all Terran weapons, which is not my preference. But I knew we could make those. I knew we could get our three materials together and get some turrets and some ships built. So that's what I did. 
Now, what that really has me in mind to do in my next playthrough, uh, not sure when that'll be, uh, but in my next playthrough, I intend to go all Terran. Because for one thing, I want to build the Asgard. Didn't get to do that in this playthrough because I needed to make a decision. And because we're right here at the release of the new DLC, I thought, well, let's go with the Earl King. That makes the most sense given where we are. What is that in front of me? Seriously? Is that our Earl King? I can't tell. As it spins around, it kind of looks like it is. I thought that it was enemy vessel and I got excited. Nope, that's one of our Earl Kings. Never mind. But yeah, I want to build the Asgard. Now, granted, there are mods available, I'm sure, that would have allowed me to build the Asgards or at least purchase them. Uh, but right now, without a mod, we have no ability to do that in this playthrough uh, because the Asgard do not sell, nor do they uh, allow you to build the Asgard unless you are uh, a member of the Terran. So no amount of reputation would do it. Which is unfortunate, but next time I think I'm just going to go full Terran. And instead of using the Tides of Avarice DLC, uh, because unfortunately I don't know that my computer is going to be able to run all the DLC at one time, I think I will go with the split. I think I want to play that DLC. I haven't had a chance to do anything with it uh, since I chose to go with Avarice this time. But I think I'll bring the split in. They should be very formidable from a military standpoint. So I'm looking forward to fighting them. But we'll see how that goes and when all that happens. Have no idea at this point because I'm going to need a little bit of time probably away from X4 here in the near future for a few different reasons. Not necessarily because of anything the game has done, but, but from some things going on in real life may push me away because this is a type of game that, I mean, I mentioned it before, hundreds of hours in this game. And so you need to have some time to devote to this because building an empire here, getting ships built, having the credits to build ships, all of those things just take time. Uh, and you don't just jump right in. So if I were gonna jump right in, I would need to do a custom start and give ourselves a lot of money and ships and, and that kind of thing. So, so we'll deal with that in the future and see how all that works out. But that is something I've been thinking about is I wanna do the Asgard and see how it goes. Is it better for me than the Earl King? Remember, when I'm talking about better, I'm talking about for the way I use it, which is in the hands of the AI, uh, largely, because the chances of me piloting very many of these ships is pretty small. I know my limits. <laughs> hey, I want to go get that station, but that's not for today. Right now, we just don't seem to be finding much of anything, just small amounts. But something tells me if we go get that station, Number one, we may get just decimated, which would be fine. But number two, we might find a lot more ships nearby. So we'll keep that in mind for future videos. But for right now, that's going to do it for today. Job number one is complete. We infiltrated Savage Spur and we're starting to build a station. So that's step one. Step two, go find some more fun, attack some more stuff kill some more xenon things but we'll do that more next time for now thank you guys so much for joining me and stick around for more x4 foundations